Yo, what's up guys, it's t -Bag. and I know I'm a bit late to the party, but I wanted to make a video anyway. So, as of today, we got some brand new weapons in Battlefield 1, or should I say, one totally new weapon and about 8 new weapon variants. And the cool thing about these weapons is that as soon as you download the new update, you instantly unlock them and you don't even need to have the premium pass. So recently, every Battlefield 1 player got the French DLC They Shall Not Pass for free, and now everybody gets a bunch of new weapons to use for free as well. Pretty cool. The only gun that's locked behind an assignment, and the one that pretty much everyone is the most excited about, is the Annihilator Trench, which is an early build of the Thompson submachine gun. So that's pretty cool that we got that, plus it could also be a hint towards the next Battlefield game, but I'm not gonna go into that in this video. So I'm gonna go over these new weapons relatively quickly so you get an idea of how they perform and how they feel. We're gonna start off with the worst one in my opinion, the M1970 Patrol Carbine. This is pretty much the exact same as the normal M1970 Carbine, but fitted with a scope. The thing is though, this gun is so weak at a distance that you would probably never use it at a range where you would need a scope. Because at long range you only do 15 damage, so you need to hit your enemy about 7 times before you can kill them. Plus the bullet travels extremely slow as well, but it is a fun little gun to use. It reminds me a little bit of the M1903 Experimental. Next up is the Shogun Inertial Slug, another weapon that performs best at close range despite the long range option. So for the people who don't know, a slug is a solid projectile that does a lot of damage from close to long range. So because the shotgun doesn't need buckshot, the long range capabilities have been improved drastically. I believe that this is now the third shotgun in the game with a slug variant, alongside the Model 10A and the Model 1900 double barrel shotgun. That being said, because it kicks so much, I found it rather difficult to use, but who knows, it could be just because I'm trash. Another new assault weapon variant is the Machine Pistol Experimental variant. The Machine Pistol Experimental is similar to the AN94 from Battlefield 4 if you guys remember, meaning it has a special fire mode which lets the gun shoot two bullets in an extreme high rate of fire to have an accurate grouping of the two bullets. Though the downfall is still the fact that it only has 16 rounds to fire before reloading, and the reloading itself also takes ages, but again it is a fun little weapon to try out. And the last new weapon variant for the Assault class is the Ribeye Rolls Optical Variant. Nothing much to say about this gun, in my experience it performs very similar to the standard variant of the Ribeye Rolls, but maybe with a little bit more accuracy while standing still. Obviously it also comes with an optical sight for better targeting. Now on to the Scout class, which, like the Assault class, also got 4 new weapon variants of existing weapons. The first one, and in my opinion the coolest of the bunch, the M1917 Enfield. Silenced. It's basically the same as the normal M1917 Enfield rifle, but equipped with a scope, which can zoom in up to 10 times, and of course it has a suppressor, which is really cool. Now I don't know if the bullet velocity is reduced compared to the unsuppressed variant like it would have been in Battlefield 4 for example, so if somebody knows about that please let me know in the comment section below. Another rifle variant is the Kakano Patrol Carbine. Again, the same rifle but equipped with a scope. Though I prefer the Kakano rifle without a scope due to its high rate of fire, which gets lost a little bit if you are zoomed in with a scope. With the Iron Sight variant, you can rechamber another round while aiming down sight. With the scope variant, you need to zoom out first before doing the bolt action animation. Another variant is the Ross Mark III Infantry. Nothing much to say about this rifle, it's the exact same as the Ross Mark III, but without a scope. So all the people who love sniping with iron sights will love this new addition. And last but not least, the Arisaka Patrol. Basically the Arisaka but with a scope, and I would say I love this rifle. Because even though it has a scope, the rechambering animation is extremely fast. So you can get those crazy kill chains with this sniper rifle. And all in all, it's just a cool addition. So those were the new weapon variants. But of course, the weapon that everyone wants to see is the Annihilator Trench. I'm telling you right now, this gun is a beast in CQB. You unlock this gun after getting 100 kills with the Assault Class primary weapons. And 25 kills with the Assault Class sidearms. So a pretty straightforward assignment should take you only a couple of games to unlock this. The Annihilator is a submachine gun with a rate of fire of around 830. So pretty decent damage output right there, but it only has a 20 round stick magazine. So when engaging an enemy, you need to make your shots count. That being said, the reload is pretty damn fast. I don't know the exact time, but you can see it now in the background. 
And that's about it guys, sorry if I sound a bit slow, I'm extremely tired, I need to rest up a little bit because I got some awesome videos coming soon on the channel. If you don't want to miss them, hit that subscribe button and of course the notification bell. Like the video if you enjoyed it or found it useful. Let me know your opinions about the new guns or the new weapon variants in the comment section below. And with that being said, I see you guys next time.